Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Horace Dobson, your New Age Minister from Common Sense Ministry. I was reading an article by a guy named Don Stewart the other day entitled, Does the New Testament Ever Quote Itself as Authoritative Scripture? He makes two points. Point number one is that Peter recognizes Paul's writing as scripture. Point number two, he says that Paul quotes the gospel according to Luke as scripture. But let's take a closer look at both of these statements. Let's start with point number two, because it is easily disputed and contested. Point number two definitely cannot be true because Paul died by 63 A.D., and most scholars agree that the gospel, according to Luke, was not written until about eight, about 80 A.D. So it would have been very hard for Paul to quote something that did not exist at the time and would not exist for almost another 20 years after his death or his martyrdom. So point number two is null and void and falls flat on its face. I'm sorry, Don. Point number two. Second, Peter recognizes Paul's writing in scripture. Peter is quoted in second Peter three fifteen and 16 as saying that some things in Paul's letters are hard to understand in which the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction as they do the other scriptures. Now, is Peter saying that they twist Paul's letters and scripture or is he putting Paul's letters on the same level as scripture remember when Jesus or the apostles used the word scriptures they were always referring to the Old Testament because the New Testament had not even been written and would not have uh, even started until almost 20 years after Jesus' death, Jesus' death, and will continue to be written for the next 100 years. Two important points on this. Number one, according to numerous writers of the time or shortly thereafter, describe Peter's death as, as having occurred in the and as having occurred in Rome during the reign of the Emperor Nero in 64 AD. And Peter writes about this in 1 Peter about his upcoming death. So, there's a lot of controversy as to when 2 Peter was written and by whom. 2 Peter looks to have been written between 100 AD and 150 AD as a pseudographical writing, which means writing in the name of someone else who had authority. If this is the case, Peter would have been dead a half century or longer. So it would have been hard for him to write that. But even so, if another Christian writer wrote that, would it have the same weight as if Peter wrote it? So we are left with one verse in the, in the New Testament that, and not written by Peter. We cannot build a religion or confirm the truth of a matter based on one testimony. So what do we do with that? You tell me. Leave your comments below. If you would like more information on this topic, check out my study on YouTube called Did the Early First Century Church Consider the New Testament to be Holy Scripture? Thank you.